Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to be stepping into the cage this weekend, the Ultimate Fighter 24 finale, Rob Font. Rob, I appreciate the time. Uh, you know, just a couple of days ago, you were kind of sitting there of whether you were going to fight on this card or not. Uh, you know, when you get the call from your management and said, hey, by the way, your opponent's pulled out of the fight, uh, what, what goes through your mind? Uh, it's the worst feeling, man. Uh, it's, you know, you, you just start questioning everything you start uh wondering if it's going to happen like uh, especially after the, the whole manchester thing so it's kind of like it's it's mentally tough but you just got to stay prepared mentally and uh physically you know i'm always prepared but mentally it's tough man you know you're thinking you're not gonna fight um you know and especially this one it was thanksgiving i had a whole house full of food so it was like man i just want to sit down and pig out you know but uh it, it's tough man but uh you know luckily you know Sean Shelby and, uh, you know, Tyson, they, you know, they worked hard on this fight and um, they got the fight. You mentioned about the Manchester situation. Um, I'm guessing it was probably uh, Tyson who came to you and said, by the way, uh, your fight's not happening. And, I mean, what's going through your mindset when, you, when you, you've done every, all the preparations, you've made weight, and now you're not fighting? Yeah, you know, it's uh, I didn't believe it. At, at, I didn't believe it when he first told me. It. I didn't believe it until, like, maybe five minutes after really like, when everybody came in the room, we all sat down. Everybody's kind of got that sad look on their face, but um, it's it's horrible, man. Especially going all the way to um, you know England and, and a whole new spot. We're in a we're in a hotel. You know, we're not even home. You know, we're flying out, traveled all you know like the, for two days, and then find out you're not fighting. It's it's the worst feeling in the world. I would never wish that on anybody. You know, it's the worst feeling. Especially, it's one thing if a week out or whatever, but it's literally. The, 30 minutes before he's like I was getting ready to start my weight cut and um or the last like last bit of the weight cut and then he comes in and tells me so it's the Wayne started at one I started doing it at 12 30 I found out 12 35 and now I'm just sitting there like confused but um and, you know it wasn't all bad um I got to hang out in Manchester I got to watch the fights I got to go to London so it got a couple you know perks out of it but it, it was definitely the most you know Messed up weekend for me, my whole car. I don't say my whole career fighting so far. But you you do get the fight here coming up this weekend, the Ultimate Fire twenty four finale. Uh, prior to Matt Schnell being uh, said that that's going to be opponent, had you watched any Ultimate Fire? I actually, I I was I caught up on it um, maybe two weeks ago. I started watching all of them. I um actually I thought he was going to win the show. Like he um he looked real sharp in his first fight. Um, Striking, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, everything looked good. Yeah, he. Uh, it was a triangle. He won the first one, right? The first mm-hmm. uh, match he won. So, um, yeah. I mean, I started watching it. Um, I'm. I, I believe the the. You know the they're all tough fights and and um, and I, but for some reason, like I think he's one of the most talented fighters out of all of them. What's your thought? I mean, he's a 125 or he's coming up to 135. I mean, um, I guess you first off you say, okay, hey, this guy's willing to take on any opponent. But then there's part of you who goes, hey, man, where's all the 35ers that want to fight me? I wouldn't say there's no 35ers that want to fight me. It's just, it's just, you know, it's, I believe it's, uh, it'll be easier for him to make weight than any other 35 er especially coming off of Thanksgiving. Um, he, uh, I believe they believe in him. You know, because he is uh, talented, and it, it'll be, and I believe it's going to be an exciting fight. But um, it, it'll be tough. You know, it'll be tough to kind of find a 35 to make weight on a on a, a couple of days' notice. Before uh, they they offered Matt Schnell, and at this when the UFC made the official announcement that uh, your opponent was out, they also announced that uh, Rafael Sunsau needed a new opponent for next week's uh, fight night car. Was there at all a part of you, or maybe your manager tried to say the UFC say, "Hey, well, we want that fight." I figured that I um I thought that would be the first one um they offered but um you know you know coming off a loss you know you don't want to jump in there and just take any fight mm-hmm. um and I know that's that's the first thing Tyson was thinking about um but um definitely had I had I actually watched the, the TJ Dillashaw versus uh Sansa fight once I found out like okay it's probably going to happen you know what I'm saying so you know he's meant to be prepared for this fight but um you know, it, it did it, and I'm cool with it. You know, that's a tough fight, um, a fight that I think I'll get down the road. But, um, you know, I, I like the matchup we got right now, and we'll go with it. First fight since uh, UFC 198 back in May, the, the loss to John Lineker. 
Is it one of those things that you've already moved past it and uh, you're just thinking about, um, you know, what's ahead for you? Yeah, definitely. You know, I definitely uh, moved past it. Um, you know, I learned a lot from that. I uh, made a, a few mental mistakes in that fight. And um, like I said, I learned a lot from that fight. And uh, I'm proud of what he's doing. You know, he's killing it right now. He's taking over the division. And, um, you know, down the road, I would love to get a rematch. What's the biggest uh, takeaway from that fight for yourself? Um, knowing when to just, you know, trust in my technique and, and uh, adjust fast enough on the fly, you know, not, and not obviously not just thinking too much. I was thinking way too much in that fight and um, having a lot more fun when I get out there instead of trying to uh, force something to happen or waiting for the perfect moment to do it and just kind of letting it loose. I know there's always uh, tweaks you're going to make uh, in how you train, but I saw that uh, done a little training there at the Lazone's gym. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he, um, he always, I, I would see him at all the local shows, always reached out to me and be like, hey, you know, whatever you need, let me know. Um, so, yeah, you know, we, we got down there twice a week. We're there Monday and, um, sorry, Monday morning and Friday mornings, and uh, we grapple and, um, do some boxing with his um, his boxing coach as well. What's uh you know going into that gym two times a week? Is there one thing you can kind of uh, maybe that stuck out to you about how they prepare for fights, and, and that's something you've incorporated into your own uh, preparations? Um, yes and no. Um, you know, it's pretty much the same kind of uh, prep. Like you know, always um, feeling like how do I say it? Like always. <clears throat> always prepared to do everything you know he always trains jiu-jitsu wrestling boxing everything um i do like the way he uh he's not always sparring all the time he's only sparring when he has a fight coming up um you know so i definitely i if anything i, I pick that up i uh i won't be sparring as much unless i have a fight and um you only spar a certain amount of weeks um so that's i, I like that but um you know he, just being around him i learned so much just talking to him and all the experience he has you know um I pick up a lot just from outside the cage, inside the cage, um, little things like travel tips and, and how to deal with the UFC and how to deal with hotels and stuff like that. Uh, I pick up a lot from him. And, uh, you know, Matt Snow, the, the opponent here, we, we mentioned about, uh, you know, guy coming up from 125 to 135. And, and I know it's always about yourself. It's not necessarily about the opponents, but what you want to go out there and do. Um, is there anything you want to maybe prove to yourself in this fight, uh, of, you know, coming off that, that loss of John Lineker? Not, not really. I'm not proving myself. I just wanted to go out and have fun. You know, so I didn't have fun in that Leninger fight. It was kind of, um, like I said, I was just in my head too much. Um, and, and this one, I just want to go out there and have fun. And, and you know, yeah, honestly, I just want to fight. You know, it's just coming <laughs> off the campus to fight. You know, I just want to get in there and fight. But um, I want to have fun. I want to have. I want to perform. And I, I want to, you know, uh, like I said, like go out there and get my hand raised any way I possibly can. Has the last two years just been the longest two years of your life? Because, you know, you had the great win against George Rupin in your debut, and then you're on the sidelines. And now, um, you know, with the, the canceled fight you, you've had now, I mean, is it, it just been just a long two years for you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's been up and down, up and down, up and down this whole, since I got signed. So, um, But like I said, man, it, it is what it is. MMA, I love it, um, and I wouldn't change anything about it. What do you love the most about MMA? competition you know the competition the 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 different challenges you know um like you saw i went from fighting george root who's six foot tall to don lineker who's like five three and it's just like the the different matchups the the you know the people you meet on the way i met a lot of people so um yeah i just love it but obviously just the competition and and being be having that like feel like it's like have an opportunity to go out there and prove yourself again all mm -hmm. it's all over again you know who's so, gonna be in your corner saturday night it'll be uh tyson charlier mark doug and you know, my boy i'm um, calvin cater uh you know f when you're you, you when you look at your corner and what what about them makes them so good for you is, is there something that sticks out to them that maybe it's maybe it's before the fight during the fight that makes them uh you know unique and you know maybe it's something they do inside the fight that really sticks out to you yeah, uh, well, Tyson, he, he always just keeps me honest. You know, he always keeps me honest. He tells me straight up what it is, what it's not. Um, Mark has, like, that little thing where he finds little details before the fight or during the fight mm -hmm. that um, I think a lot of people don't um, 
catch, and I believe he catches it. It'll be something simple, like, like, you know, step to your left instead of stone to your right. Something stupid. He'll, he'll catch it. He'll pick it up. He has a natural way of doing things. And then, like, Calvin is just, you know, just kind of just cool. You know, I like the vibe he brings. He's real relaxed, real um, kind of like what, like, kind of like me, like whatever, whatever you want to do, we'll do it. And um, so I think it's kind of important to kind of have like a a good vibe in your corner and um they're all funny you know they're all funny jokers so it's never like too serious it's always like like tyson will even tell jokes during the during the round so it's kind of like you know they kind of keep me smiling keep me focused at the same time but um let me know like i said it's not heart surgery it's a fight you know it's not that big of a deal just have fun go out there and do your thing you know you mentioned about you know going out there and having fun you've mentioned that a couple of times now what is having fun for you uh inside the octagon I'm just letting it flow, you know. I didn't let anything go in that Leninger fight. I didn't let it. I was like, oh, I was thinking, ah, that's not, no, it's not, it's not the time to do that, or it's not the time to do this. Let's bring them this, let's bring them forward, let's bring them back. I just, I was thinking way too much. I want to go out there, and let it flow, and um, play with tricks, like play with elbows, play with different kicks, take them down if it's there, you know, play with some stuff on the ground, um, different type of setups on the ground. Just go out there and just like let it open up, open my game up, and just let it flow. I know as we're talking, the UFC's not released the fight card lineup. Have, have they told you whether your fights on the main card are prelims? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't um, got an email or a call from Tyson, anything like that. Is that even anything that bothers you? Like, are you just like sitting there going, "Look, it doesn't matter whether on the first fight or the twelfth fight, yeah. I, the, the job is the same." Yeah, exactly. You know, what I'm saying um, it would be nice to be the first fight because you get in there and your first fight and you get it over mm-hmm. with, and you know exactly what time you're going on. Um, or the first fight on the prelims because uh, you know exactly what time you're going on. But um, it, like I said, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm fighting, um, if it's fight pass on Fox or whatever, it doesn't matter. How do you balance that? Like, let's say you're in the middle of the fight card and you don't know an exact time uh, of when you're, you're fighting. You can kind of pretty much figure out, especially when it's TV, you kind of have a good idea when that fight's going to be. But how do you in the back kind of sit there and, and know exactly when to start your warm-up? Um... It's it's a feel. It's kind of a feel thing. You kind of uh, go off the the fights. You kind of go off of your feeling. Sometimes like it's all it's every different. Like the group fight, I kind of started uh, a little earlier. The Boston fight, I kind of started a little later. It's kind of I think it's more of a feel for you and um, obviously the time you have to go on. But um, it's um how you feeling that day. You might want a longer uh, warm up or or a shorter warm up. And, of course, this is going to be the Ultimate Fighter Season 24 finale live main card FS1 coming up on Saturday night. Demetrius Johnson defending the flyweight title against the winner of the Ultimate Fighter 24. Rob, as always, I appreciate the time. Good luck on Saturday night. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me on, man.